There are few things better in life than on a cold day like this, or cold for California, getting into a nice warm and toasty car. I feel like I could just sit in here all day. I'd probably have to leave to eat. Hmm. Hey everybody, welcome to Fanboy Friday. It's November 27th. <sighs> And yes, today is Black Friday, the big shopping day of the year. And personally, I love going out into Black Friday shopping. I love the chaos of it. There's an energy. There's an energy in the crowd that I really enjoy. And it's such a curiosity to watch the way people act in that crowd, crazy or not crazy, polite and completely abusive. And I can still remember some Black Fridays even when I was a kid. In fact, I can remember the Black Friday when the Transformers toys first came out. Maybe... I think that was Black Friday. They didn't even bother putting them on the shelves. They just left big boxes, big crates and pallets in the middle of the toy aisle and all the kids just ran in like this mob and grabbing and clawing and tackling each other trying to get at Megatron and Optimus Prime. Those are the only toys that were available at that point. We made it out alive and I got my Optimus Prime and my brother got one of each because he had a little bit more money saved up. He was always better with money than I was. No real big update on the boys. Everything's kind of status quo. They're doing well. A little bit better than yesterday. That's hopefully the direction it will keep going in. Uh, update on me, also a little better than yesterday. Still pretty sore. Not really good to be standing up for long periods of time or even sitting in a chair for long periods of time and then standing up. That's still a little sore. Still doing some icing on and off throughout the day. Still have the ibuprofen, just keeping it going. I'm pretty sure that by tomorrow, especially when I go back to work on Monday, I I'm sure I'll be fine. One thing that I didn't go into a little bit earlier this week and even though I knew it was something that was going on, and I just didn't figure out how to factor it into the vlog was just this past week, uh, maybe even the last two weeks, they've been super duper busy and that kind of stress, that kind of uh, momentum while being exciting in one respect can also be really draining in another. And I was starting to feel that drain. I was starting to feel that kind of pull down and I just attributed it to stress, attributed it to broken sleep because of getting up in the middle of the night to feed Liam. I attributed it to just a lot of work and feeling overwhelmed. And while all that is true, uh, what I didn't really realize or wrap my head around was what I was battling underneath all of that was just another bout of depression. And once I kind of realized that, it, it hit me not harder, but just truer. So I've been kind of trying to deal with that. It's not by far one of the worst bouts I've had. I also have more tools, more support, more communication than I've had in the past. So it makes everything easier to deal with, but it is there. And it's something that I do have to deal with. It just kind of sneaks up on you in the middle of sentences, in the middle of a moment, in the middle of anything really. Something's going on out there, I got no idea what. So I'm just trying to kind of make it through this. There have definitely been days where I didn't want to necessarily sit down and do a video, but I still feel like I'm trying to start a pattern and I'm also still trying to find my voice. And part of that voice is being authentic, being the real person uh, that's on the other side of this camera and being someone who suffers from depression, being someone who's dealing with random things on random days is part of that story. And I felt like there's no reason to hide that. So on to more positive things. Fanboy Friday this week is actually about Loot Crate. Now, they're not a sponsor. I don't have sponsors. I'm way too small to have sponsors, but I have had their service for maybe half a year or more now, and I love it. Some boxes I get are awesome. Every single thing in there is something that I want. Other boxes are a little bit mixed. There are things that I want and things that I really don't care for, but what's great is then those can go as gifts to other people that I know, and then they have exclusive boxes, which, like this one, yeah, the exclusive Doctor Who box. I just got this today. Made my day a lot better. This is actually a birthday present from past me to present me that will certainly make future me very happy. Let me show you what I got inside. Uh, the one thing that's not in here was there were some Doctor Who uh, sprinkles uh, that are now downstairs in the cabinet with all the other baking supplies. Oh, and the other, and I have a sonic screwdriver that's downstairs as well. It's the same sonic screwdriver that I have currently, but that one's a remote control, super heavy, and it's meant to be used as such. This one's a little more of a toy. It's lighter. It's a little more, I wouldn't say flimsy is the word. It's still very well useful and it extends in the way that, that one doesn't. But first off, look at that. My little TARDIS. I love it. It's going to go perfect next to my uh, vinyl Statue of Liberty version of a Weeping Angel. This will be perfect next to it. And speaking of Weeping Angels, look at that. Let's see, is that going to show the whole thing? There you go. That is awesome. It's adorable. Who wouldn't want to have one of these? Who wants a Weeping Angel just for themselves? And they came with this. Doctor Who sounds in your pocket. Only one sound on here is actually kind of the Doctor or actually it's the TARDIS, which is, I think, this one. The 
rest of these are all villains. Exterminate! Exterminate! He's loud as hell. You will be deleted. Delete. 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 It's, it's great. It's fun. And for the Doctor fan, it's a great gift. Yeah, there are only 10,000 of these crates made. Mine is just under 8,000. It's number 7,000. Number 7,899. There you go. So if you don't know the company, there you go. Loot crate. And they're awesome. I mean, for just under 20 bucks a month, you get a box. Not specifically like this one. This is limited edition. This, also, this cost $50 for the box because there was $80 worth of value. But usually you get a box that you pay just under 20 bucks for. There's a guarantee. $40 or more in value in gifts and they're perfect for your nerd friend your geek friend your just pop culture video gamer guy girl whoever and for me I'm a knick-knack kind of person I love stuff like this I want a shelf just full of these things because to me also not only is this a cool toy or a cool collectible when you have a collectible like this or when you have a collectible of any kind it's a piece of a collection that you put together a, a collection that means something to you so each piece Piece is meaningful to you and they each have a story behind it so when you have a wall full of these things it's like somebody can walk into that room and they can kind of see who you are and then anytime they say well what's this about you can sit down and just tell them a story tell them about a little piece of your life that is trapped inside of that little knickknack tchotchke whatever you want to call it and that is awesome. So anyway, hope you guys have had a fantastic Fanboy Friday leading into an awesome weekend. There will be a new episode of The Motley Stew Show going up on Sunday. Stay tuned until then, and as always, be good to each other.